What's up, Internet? We are back with the SMS Mega Kart collection of Game Gear games and SMS games on the GBA. Last time we got a little bit rushed, but we went through some of the Gs, went through Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe Warrior, Golvelius, Gunstar Heroes, some great adventure games. Now we have to go with Impossible Mission. Now I'm a little bit hesitant about this game, because I'm not sure if it was Impossible Mission or Mission Impossible. I know it would be impossible to get those ever confused, right? But I remember that one of these games was made in such a way... How do I get off? Time is suspended. I don't know how to play this. Uh, okay, there we go. But it was either Impossible Mission or Mission Impossible, but one of them was made in such an inept way that it was true to its name, actually impossible. Like, they put a key card to a locked door behind the locked door, unable to actually get it. Okay, select function. Password required, so we can't disable them. Okay, so we can't do anything with that computer just yet. Whoa! Okay, this sort of reminds me a little bit of, like, uh, Another World, or, like, Flashback. Like a cinematic platformer type of thing. Doesn't look like we have any way of, like, attacking. So... That's a hitbox right there. Okay, so the hitbox is actually, like, three U's in front of you. That's worth noting, I guess. Okay, sure. That makes sense. So the hitboxes in this game are... Uh, special noted I swear there's like some kind of weapon system but as far as I can tell there's no way to access it let's try going back maybe we can pick a different level or something maybe something that's slightly less insane okay so that brings those both up hmm okay well that destroyed that can we go up again? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, now I think I'm getting how this game works. A little bit. Okay, so I want to go up. Break the robot. Okay, the, the hitboxes in this, I don't want to say make the game unplayable, but they make this game unpleasant, to say the least. I think I've played this on the NES, and it played a lot better than this. Okay, new plan. What? Okay, well, I'm already sick of this. This is not a good version of this game. I remember the NES version playing somewhat better. Nothing here. Okay. New plan. What is that hitbox? Okay. What? I was hit by nothing there. Nothing here. What about this? Hmm. Wonder if there's a way to get him on the lift. Oh, hold on. Yay! Suck it, robots. Uh, we've already disabled the robots. Um, we don't... Okay. So, mission complete? Am I supposed to go down the hole to the left? Oh crap, they're not disabled anymore. Can't go up any further, can I go down further? Ah! I don't know. All I know is this game has really wildly unpleasant hitboxes. I guess I'm dead. That's okay, though. I'm about done with this. I think the NES version played a little bit better. Ken Seiden. I don't know what this is offhand. Let's start. Okay. 
This reminds me a little bit of, uh, what was it, uh, Getsu Fumiden, and, uh, what was it, uh, Getsu Tomoden, which is made by a completely different company, even though it looked very similar. Alright, there we go. If I had a way of slashing upward right now, like if we were Alex Kidd in Shinobi World, get out of here, I'd, I'd have this taken. Oh no, I'm dead! Okay, this is not exactly Shinobi levels of, um, what I would say, platformy, hacky, slash equality. Now, it looks like when it makes that metal deflecting sound, I'm still doing damage to the skeleton. That's worth noting. There doesn't seem to be anything tied to that little monument thing. That's just filigree, I guess. Gonna run, gonna run, gonna run, gonna run, gonna run, gonna run. What is that, like, recoil animation? It's like he's offended that something got in his way, and he has to back off. That is, uh... Not great. Just gotta take this slow, I guess. Because once enemies start piling up on the screen, you're basically done. But if you can slowly kind of get them taken care of, that should be... God, yes, yeah, stupid monkey. There we go. Okay. Just gotta take this slow. The AI is not what I would consider to be brilliant. It basically just wants to stand in you at all times. Which does not exactly lend to the best AI design ever. Oh no, game over. Alright, well, we'll give it one more go. I'm willing to give this at least a bit more of a shot than impossible mission. Because this, this is unforgiving, but at least it seems kind of sort of vaguely fair. So for these monkeys, screw these monkeys. These monkeys don't play fair. I would have used a different sound effect than like a metal deflecting sound for when you hit the skeletons. Like I get that it's supposed to tell you that you didn't instantly kill it, but it still sounds like you're doing nothing to it, and that would lead me to think you can't hurt them. Or if you can hurt them, it would require a different method. Metal deflecting is a useful sound effect for when you're showing that you can't do something. So when you're trying to hide stuff behind that effect, it's not good. Also, we are doing that thing where you start piling enemies up to being unmanageable. Run! I think that was the end of the level. It looked like it stopped scrolling there, but... Those monkeys, again, they just don't like to let things go easily with you. Monkeys are annoying in this game. I can sit here and kind of duck through them. But this is... This almost feels a little bit like a shmup, except you have a melee weapon in it. And not the cool kind of melee weapon in a shmup that, like, completely invalidates the fact that you don't have a gun. I mean the kind of melee weapon that's like any other game's melee weapon. I'm guessing that's health. Randomized health drops is not what I would consider useful in something like this. Kind of reminds me a little bit in that regard of the old Dragon Ball game, or Dragon Powers, it was known in English, when they cut all the Dragon Ballness of it out. Where you basically had to grind health to survive anything, and health drops were entirely random. It was not a pleasant experience at all. There we go. There we go! Just gotta play this real cool and we got this. Hopefully. Okay, bugs. That running animation is not conducive to the speed you're moving at. Okay, you're dead. He didn't spawn last time. Yes, this is very Getsu Fumiden. And, uh... Again, Matomaden, I believe is what it was called. Kind of similar games. One was on the TG-16, one was on the Famicom. Both were fairly interesting games. Also really stupidly hard games, too, from what I remember.
music's not too bad in this level. That's literally the main character from Getsu Fumaden. Interesting. Maybe this is like a spin-off or something? Ooh, Blood Moon. Cool. Run! Oh crap. I, I can't go through the door. I can't keep going that way. Do I just have to kill everything now? Okay, that's dead. I just want to come down here so I can fight you? No? Okay... Not really sure what to do now. Am I supposed to go in there, maybe? Yes, okay. I'm guessing it probably ends with us going through the gate at the end. Whoop! Up, up! Game over, unfortunately. That one might be interesting, but it's it feels a little bit difficult. Okay, Kung Fu Kid. I am not familiar with this game at all. Good title screen, though. Music seems okay. Okay, so this is kind of like Spartan X, a little bit, or as, as the NES would call it, Kung Fu. And I think in Europe it was called Kung Fu Master. I was never good at that game, though. <laughs> that appeared to be some kind of Mahjong tile. Ah, I can throw that if I press up and attack. That's worth knowing. Okay, the enemy volume is a bit high to be remotely manageable. Oh. Okay, that wasn't good. Let's try again. Okay, new plan. Since the enemy is way too much to handle, if I sit around and actually let them attack, we're just gonna run for it. Well, we've made it further than we did previously. We can't go in there. It's in the last game, evidently. Just gonna keep running. That bamboo is quite lovely. I gotta admit the visuals in this look quite good. Oh, the enemies are a bit nondescript. Well, they do have those, like, uh, Chinese hopping vampire things that I think are kind of cool. Oh, we had a sprite limit, so we couldn't spawn the villain. And this feels a little Yi'ar Kung Fu-ish. Which is a problem because I'm not good at Yi'ar Kung Fu either. Okay, this is where stockpiling on ranged attacks would be useful, I think. Ha! I made you melt, you weird priest guy. Suck it. Okay, so this is the kind of game that benefits you from, you know, not fighting things, because that really seems to slow you down. Some kind of jumping cricket. I'm not sure if that's an enemy or not. I'm not going to test it. Just going to keep going. On the bright side, the enemies aren't interested so much on just completely following you and overlapping their sprite with yours. Which means this is actually kind of not stupidly programmed from an enemy perspective. But their volume is a little bit unmanageable. Again, hence why we're running away instead of actually fighting, because this seems like a more survivable strategy. This feels a little bit like Contra in the sense that there's just like an unlimited number of enemies all coming at you at once. Some kind of... Ah! Okay, so you can fly anywhere, and unlike the last guy who at least had an attack animation, you just sort of mesh your face into my body and then die. Or kill me. One of those two. Ow. You know, if you didn't teleport over there, I might have actually had you in a pattern. Alright, one more time. Player, negative one. That's how bad I am. Oh. Hey, that cricket actually took out a bunch of guys for us. That's kind of advantageous. Oh, I don't want to be stuck down here. A hey, ranged weapon. Oh, no. Why is that not getting picked up? There we go. I will say I've played significantly better games 
on the SMS. I mean, last time, as rushed as it was, and I do feel bad about that, those were some really good games. These are games I wish I could rush through. Plus those old ones, those ones I would actually like to sit back and play quite a full bunch of. Alas. Looked good, sounded okay. On to number four, The Land of Illusion by Disney and Sega. I think this is the sequel to Castle of Illusion. I'm not familiar with this one all that much. But let's go. Hey, it's Red Riding Daisy. Alright. Okay, so that's just talk. We actually have to go to a level. Okay. Hold on. I have to figure out if there's a... Do I have to press the other button to stomp? Yes. Okay, so it's very much like the last one. You know, I've never understood that, like, why in some games you just need to press an additional button to make your attack actually, like, an, an attack. Instead, it's just like a jump where you're very vulnerable. Not a fan of that. Like, I don't think it benefits anything from a game development perspective to do that. I guess it means that you have to, like, commit your jump to an attack, but there's no real reason not to do that either, because your jump is going to be equally high if it's an attack as it is just a standard jump. One just means that you're slightly less vulnerable, so why not just always do that? It just makes a lot more sense. Oh, okay, I just fell through the platform. Thanks, spider, you jerk. Let's try this again. I do not like this spider web at all. Alright, gotta climb up here and not get taken out by that whirlwind. I feel like that would be for our best interests. Hey, cake. I like cake. Uh-oh. Actually, that might be useful. Thank you. You didn't get me dropped onto a bunch of what I assume to be chestnuts. Awesome. Ooh, I want that. Is there something I can... Ah. Okay. I got your game, but I screwed that up kind of badly. What's in the tree? Can I go? Nope. But well, maybe I can summon that snake again. Nope. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal without having treasure. Unless I backtrack from like up here, which I don't really want to do. Oh, that's slippery. Okay, so they've got sort of an ice physics sort of slidey system with these vines. Gotta take special note of that. How do I get up there? Am I supposed to bounce off that eyeball looking thing? Uh, that means I have to respawn it. Oh! What? Okay. Except not okay. That was anti okay. Well, at least we get to try this again. Okay. There we go. I got score. Awesome. Whoa. Okay. Just don't land on your butt on the vines and you're okay. Climb, 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 climb. Spiky thing. Uh. Oh. Poop. Okay, one more go. Hey, the score bob is gone. I guess you can only get so much score in this game unless you despawn and then respawn enemies. Um, so far not really enjoying this all this much. Oh, oh, come on. New plan. Ah. Uh, in that situation, you kind of have to take damage just to get up there. That's not good. Okay. So, that's four on to Legend of Illusion. Please don't be another Mickey Mouse game. <laughs> I'm not terribly hopeful of this. Oh no. Oh dear lord, we're doomed. I feel this is going to be basically exactly what we just played. Actually, fun fact, um, in the background right now, I actually have footage of Castle of Illusion on the Mega Drive footage playing from something else. 
that I was watching before I recorded this. So. So that's that's serendipity, if nothing else. I didn't realize there was like three of these games for the Game Gear. Although this is more like, uh, this is more like, um, what was it? Not Mickey Mouse Capade, but uh, the the thing that was basically a sequel to Mouse Capade. Uh, I can't think of what that is now. Uh, Mystery Quest, I think. Okay, I can't get up there. Pause does nothing. Up, nope, up, nope, down, nope, A and B? Okay, let's try this. Gonna go for the obvious thing. And, as uh, is often the case, the obvious thing is usually the right thing to do. Gold Cup! Oh, cool! That's actually kinda neat! Alright. I gotta say, out of all the Mickey Mouse illusion games we've played on the Mega Drive, or Mega Drive uh, SMS, this is by far the most interesting of the lot. But it also reminds me of uh, The Great Circus Mystery and the other one. And the third one that we never got in English except on the Game Boy Advance. Which I still do not have a copy of. But those really fun Capcom ones on the Super Nintendo. Is there a way for me to lift it if it's above me? Because I can jump over that, but I don't have any way to carry it. Hmm. And there doesn't appear to be any way to grab a box from over here. Huh. I don't know what that G is. I think that's filigree, maybe, but... Oh, I'm not sure we can make that jump without a box, and this box down here just does not want to get picked up. Because there's no way for us to get on even footing next to it. It doesn't look like we can pick it up in mid-air or knock it down from up here or down here. Hmm... You know what's annoying is I'm sure it's super obvious how to get this and I'm just not picking up on it. Maybe if I throw peas at it. Nope. Is there any, like, powers in the pause screen I need to get? Nope. Up, 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 up. Pressing all the buttons. I don't seem to have any other abilities. I, I need an extra box. That one does not want to go, though. Nothing with this barrel seems to be interactable. I think I might be stuck. Unless maybe. Hold up, it's just a tick. I was curious if that cat actually did something. Like maybe if I left it alone, it would get the box for us? Maybe? Maybe I need to respawn it. Let's try that. Or is it dead forever? It's dead forever. Oh, there we go. So it just required us to do that at an exact point while jumping. That's kind of unintuitive. Eh. Ooh, cakes. Bonk. Take that, you silly weasels. Hooray! Okay, so this game... It's got issues so far, but I'm thinking out of all of the Illusion games we've played thus far, this is still the best one. So I guess this is our next level, the forest. Uh-oh. That's creepy and ominous. Bees! That's kind of terrifying, honestly. Ah, okay, well that treasure chest is impossible. Okay, so scary hands, and I think those are eyeballs in its little shadow mabob. Okay, throw that. That's dead. I do not like those bees very much. Those bees are jerks. Oh. 
Okay, I can push that out. And I can pull that out. That's actually intuitive, unlike that weird jumping, grabbing nonsense that only worked like 1% of the time. Oh no. Okay, let's try it. We gotta grab it while we jump. Yeah, I don't know why that's so wonky, but it is. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Now I want chest. Gonna take magical box Chan with us. Uh oh. Oh. Run! Okay, well, at least I can hit the bees from here. And we got some cake, so that'll. Monkey! What'd you do, monkey? Okay, I helped monkey. And I guess. Okay, now we're getting all Mystic Cave Zone up in here. Do I have to pull this down somehow? So I have no actual control over this. I can drop. Maybe when it flings up, I have to jump? Okay, I think I get it. There we go. That does not control super swell. But I will admit, while it's not mechanically the most sound game I've ever played, I do appreciate that it's at least trying some different stuff. Okay, so I'm supposed to grab monkey right now. I get that. There we go. Okay. Whoops. Let's try that again, can we? Okay, so it's like up and A when you jump, like, right underneath it. Like I said, the combining grabbing with jumping mechanics in this game, not exactly top tier detection or intuitiveness. Okay, so as long as I hold right, it'll just skip me over. I don't have to hold up for those. Okay. Okay, so we gotta deal with this thing again, which is a bit unreliable, to say the least. There we go. Now we get some more vines. Oh, oh. Okay, new plan. There we go. Oh. Once through the forest, Mickey came upon a large stone statue. Dun-dun-dun. But I think we can leave that for another time. So, based on these past five games, would I recommend this cart? Well, Impossible Mission is not very fun to play. It's got a stupid hit detection system. If they fix the hit detection on this game, it might be playable, but otherwise it's pretty worthless. Ken Seiden, it's not very fun. Unfortunately, like it sounds okay, it looks decent enough, but it feels like it just overwhelms you with enemies and they just don't really ever give you time to properly appreciate or appreciate approach them. They just sort of, yeah, like look at this, okay? Like even the even the uh, demo is taking a lot of damage from stuff just because it's overwhelming them rather quickly with enemies. And if you don't go slowly, you've got no chance. Kung Fu Kid has kind of the same problem, but from an opposite angle. It overwhelms you with enemies to the point where it's better to just run through it so you don't ever take damage. It looks great, it sounds okay, but it's not very fun. Uh, Land of Illusion, not great. Legend of Illusion, I think, is probably the best out of the Mickey Illusion games we've played thus far, and I think we've played them all, but it's, uh, it's mechanically kind of janky, to say the least. That said, at least it's trying to do some interesting stuff. I gotta give it that much. Based on these five games, would I recommend this cartridge? 
No, uh, because none of them are particularly enjoyable, I think. Legend of Illusion probably comes the closest, and even that's not great. But either way, come back next time where we take a look at the Lucky Dime Caper with Donald Duck. Oh, crap. Uh, well, hopefully it's better than Mickey, right? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, subscribe to the show to see more, because we're doing this every week. You might as well check out and subscribe to my Twitch channel to see when I stream live every night. I also do other streams sometimes, so you might want to check that out. Plus, you'll get some emotes that we've made, which is pretty cool. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is play some less than stellar Master System games. But... There are always ones to look forward to yet, I believe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.